Well, that's a, a great shot of this carving. An indigenous hunter-gatherer. Uh, the few that are left in the world. Between uh, Panama and Colombia and the Darien jungle. The Chaco Indians. His name was Retel. He made this for me before we left. And uh, they have this great wood. They do some fish. They do a lot of birds and fish. And uh, it's just a tie-in for me. It helps me remember the reason why I collect these things to tell the story. Of course, person today in today's historic Indian period or post-historic uh, Navy in their bloodline and genetics are connected to some of these individuals. Maybe not at all. Because we're going to have to jump back in time the closest to an indigenous people group such as the Chaco Indians like this would be, and this is a cleanup, I don't get to do them that often. Uh, it's been so cold, full of rain for, jeez, three weeks, five, six, seven inches of rain. But the closest to this, these actual tribes that we have names for tribes of Indians, doesn't matter whether it's the Chaco Indians or the Mohegans or the Sioux, or the Blackfoot, Navajo, Pawnee, Comanche, it doesn't matter. The closest to this, in, in, in Rito, I call him, is actually Pastor Rito. He's the pastor there and there, and they are Christians, believe it or not, now. And thank God that Christianity hasn't destroyed them with its religious ideas, but yet the freedom of some gender role uh, and identity stuff where they can share the service and the workload it's hard to explain right here but it's it's been good for them not bad but the closest is this the newest the youngest and it is a bow point unbelievable right rob and ken you think it was an antler what on earth and how on earth i don't know if the focus is coming in can you even make that so resilient that material how do you make that right unbelievable i remember uh when you go out hunting you know uh, a lot of these that you see when i do cleanups actually do not stay here in this home they don't stay here i have to get them in the hands of other good collectors who don't have the opportunity it's just the way i roll on indian trace so I'm doing a cleanup now because I was thinking maybe I'd be able to show these off out in the field. But it's just so cold and I don't like filming when it's freezing and uh, or raining. I can't. Look at this material, Rob. You'll like this. Some of you are really gung-ho on different stone and different material and I think that's a great hobby. Uh, it's all really great and beautiful rock to me. I don't try to learn what type it is. I do know if it's rare around here and it's not used much like this is not. A leaf off the, the base. So many good people out there collecting. I mean, I've enjoyed such great channels. Always put shouts out for them, whether it's Points 365 or whether it's Hawking Lithics and on and on. Um. I could I could just name them and you guys I have them on my favorites because I don't and I don't have a huge list it's only like maybe 25 so people can see that it's a unique piece right there isn't it I found that at Backpass yesterday couldn't film it and here's another that you just wonder man that would have been a really great point right there but points like this usually go in the heartbreaker points like this I usually just give and I was sharing with a friend who got the last giveaway, uh, which was a, was a huge giveaway. Uh, and I told them that usually the way it rolls is I'm very conscious of the comments, read them all and just see where a person's heart is. See if I can get some of this great stuff into their hands if they're not fortunate enough to be able to find it. Uh, or they, they want to build up a collection by state some people do that it doesn't matter to me 
I, I'm usually trying to get keep this moving, paying it forward. It's a great point right here. I might go out here today, which would be Site 4 in Riverdale. Ancient North American Indians. I'm fascinated at the time jumps because certainly Pastor Rito, it was so much fun to be with those people. They actually brought eight uh, young girls out and lined them up and asked me to choose one and stay with them forever. You can try that on for size when you're uh, not married and younger. <laughs> they were, they were, there was nothing shabby about it. I mean, they brought eight. They were serious. They said, they, if you choose one, um, she will be yours forever and you can uh, stay with us forever. <laughs> can you imagine, right? Uh, anyway, just the clean up here and chatting about things. I like being able to share the artifacts, and I would love for you guys to be able to share your... I mean, I see the finds out in the field. I love it and everything, but what's going on inside the doors? What's going on with the ones you've found so far? You know, where are they? What do you do with your favorite awesome pieces that happen to be broken? I mean, look at this piece right here. Look at this white quartz piece, will you? How do you work quartz like that? Or right above it, a piece of dirty quartz. This piece. What do you guys do with pieces that you love and you don't necessarily want to uh, put them in a frame or give them up, but you need something to do with them? So, you know, you know me, I've got my Heartbreakers vase going on. And I can just spin it a little every day and, and get a reminder of some of the great pieces that I found. That's a fun thing. Or you can then get to the point where you're like these. I won't move this black piece or the other into the heartbreakers. I'm going to listen. I'm going to find somebody who needs to have it in their hands. This is a great white piece. Everything here that's quartz is translucent. I mean, I don't even need to hold it up, right? I think this is a blade. It's a knife. It was used that way. Uh, that's a great discussion about that. It's got a little bit missing on the base, but it's a fantastic artifact. Another Marl Mountain here, pretty general. Uh, made out of rhyolite. Richard used to say that the best point that he'd ever found is the next one he finds, which is process, process, process. And I get it now because uh, I don't really care when I go out. I say, listen, I don't care. I don't, I don't really need anything else. I don't need to find anything else. But you go out and you pray. And you ask God to work in your life and your family and your nation. You humble yourself and you pray. If you believe in God, you seek his face. You look to turn from ways in your life that aren't so good. And uh, if anything, you just simply choose to believe that God hears from heaven and that he'll heal your family or your situation. That's a huge thing. Look at this. This is a, this is a thumb scraper. Look at the color in that stone. almost missed that you know it's hard to pick it up and then you look at the edge work you like for sure for sure and then when you feel it and hold it you know another human being just like you you can tell the plants where your finger would plant it's just where they did because you could you can get such leverage clean off small pelts and animals they didn't waste anything what a great piece i think for a scraper nice stuff Anyway, just a little chat in the cleanup. A couple good points, maybe. Help people with their lives, maybe. But, appreciate all the comments. I read them all. Just want to do a little cleanup and a little chat. I got to do another. Uh, and it usually is always a little different. Hope everybody finds out there. Be well.